All right, so now we have to look at basic shapes. They're very important to know in 3D, and this is the point where you need to practice and keep practicing, okay? And it's gonna feel kind of defeating at first to practice these shapes, but then uh, it'll all come together because it'll all be easier to model whatever you want, your ogre, your elfland, whatever in, that's in your head. You have to know your basic shapes first, and then you can have those, because all, anything that is 3D is just basic shapes blended together. That's all it is, okay? So, these basic shapes. First, well, cube, but with a cube, there is uh, two forms of cubes that I use all the time. There's a cube, and then there's a smooth cube. So. In order to make a smooth cube, you hit tab on the keyboard, hit control R, click drag. This will put an edge loop on the outside of this. So control R, edge loop. These new edges, when placed near the outside edge, will allow me to up the geometry on the square and maintain smooth edges. The distance that you place these away from the edge dictate how round the edges are going to be. So, there we go. Now one thing you th should think about later on is uh, if we get into other things, we if we want to subdivide this out, these polygons right here are small and these are big. So what I like to do here is say, well, we're going to subdivide it here and subdivide it here. Just so it's not so out of hand when it comes down to it. They're still big and small, but at least it's not so bad. All right, so hit tab. Go into here. Go into multi-resolution and hit subdivide. You'll see as you subdivide now, the edges stay nice and round. And if you click on it and go over here to wireframe, You see deep, 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 right at the corner here, there's an extraordinary vertice, and it's still all quads. But this is a really nice shape. You use a lot of these. So just know that I subdivided it only to show you that it subdivides really nicely. Okay. So let's go on to the next shape, which is what? A sphere. Well, very easy. Go in here and create cube. And go into multi resolution. Then we'll hit subdivide. Now, we sometimes start out with like a shape like this. You know, like it, this would be a helmet, it could be anything, as long as we took out some of the faces. But you'll notice as you subdivide, you will in fact get a ball from a cube. And if you compare it to the other UV sphere, I'll turn on the wireframe of this one, compared to the wireframe on this one, it is all quads, all the geometry is flowing very, very nicely across the surface, where this one's flowing into the poles at the very top, causing an extraordinary vertice. Now, why am I so picky about this? these two? Well, here, I'll show you, I'll demonstrate it as best I can. I'll divide this one up. Okay, then, to illustrate it, I'll use a sculpt mode. 
This is just to demonstrate this. You do not have to go into scope mode. Okay, so for scope mode, you'll notice as I brush across this and make some changes to the geometry, those changes kind of, it feels like the elasticity of the balls of uh, subdivided polygons is causing, causing that shape to still maintain. Okay. Whereas, if I go to this one, and go into sculpt mode. You can see that I have this one, the geometry, this little cute uh, quads here are stretching out rather nicely. Look at what happens here. The hot mess. So later on we sculpt and if we do sculpt on geometry, we want it to blend nicely. I will never be able to fix anything in this area or these areas. And it's because of the topology of that. That's the case. All right. So that's why we make things out of cubes. There's other reasons. But uh, let's go on to the other basic shapes in the next video.